Okay, so we're going to start with the Crossman Premier Wad Cutter on five pumps. That is where it is the best. And the Crossman pellets are a little more metallic in their texture as far as their hard pellets. So let's see how that looks. So 13 yards from the front of the gun, which is a medium range for a smooth bore. So let's see how we do. All right, let's see how we did. Okay, so we definitely obviously got through the one can. All right, and then how do we do on the second one? Ooh, not too shabby, we almost got through it. Okay, there's another hole and we almost got through it. It just split open the backside. And I wanna give the Crossman Premier's points because that's a flathead and they're very hard pellets. So good job, Crossman. Okay, so next up, we'll go ahead and set up for the H&N Sport Wad Cutter. Okay, this is the Sport Wad Cutter, so it's not match grade. It's 8.1 grains. The Crossman was 7.9. And we're going to go to six pumps. Six pumps for the H&N Sport. Let's see how we do. So let's see what we did. We got through the first one that came in a little high. I wasn't necessarily trying to do that. And, okay, there it is. That's normal. So it got through one side. Put a divot right there. Right here, you can see that. And got through one side. So that's that's about average for these wad cutters. So a can and a half for both because neither penetrated. And I just want to make a point. I'm going to show you one more with the h and I'm sorry. JSB heavy pellet, 10 and a half grains. It's accurate. Okay, and we'll talk about that in a second here. All right, so coming up, JSB heavy 10.5. And let's see how that looks. I got three cans filled with water, only six pumps, nothing more. I'm not giving it any more of a power advantage than the other two. So let's see how that looks. Just want to repeat that. Okay, JSB 10.5, six pumps. And let's load her up. Here it comes. Okay, so let's see what that JSB monster did. It's not actually a, well, there is actually a JSB monster, but JSB heavy. Punch through the first one. Punch through the second one. And, oh, not quite the third one, but it did get to two and a half cans and left, left a nice divot, as you can see there. Okay, let's go talk accuracy. 
I showed that JSB Heavy just to make a point that if you're willing to spend $14 or $15 a tin, it's a superb pellet. Uh, point of pellet could probably do that or maybe punch through all three. doesn't matter if you can't hit anything. That's what you got to remember with a smooth bore multi-pump. All right, so that took a little longer than I thought, so let's keep the video nice and short. And we will do another part two video on the 1100. Okay, so some people are asking more about the mechanics, so let's finish up the video talking about that. So this doesn't have a magazine system like the Bushmaster. It's designed really to be a, a great BB gun with the Thousand Black Widows in here, as I covered in my initial video. And you can shoot pellets, but it's designed to be a great BB gun. So when you do shoot pellets, you just cock this back because people are asking for more demo on this because they're new to this. You put your pellet in there. I like the way that Crossman made this nice and groove so it, it goes well with your thumb. Okay, you put your pellet in, close it up. And we're doing it the daisy style here. So the daisy style means that we pump first, or sorry, we cock it and then pump afterwards. In the daisy style, if you do it the other way, if you don't cock the gun, this thing will just send air up through the barrel, up through the barrel, up through the barrel. If you pump it a hundred times, it doesn't matter. Okay, so, but the neat thing about Crossman is you can do it either way. So let's cover this, okay. So with Crossman, what you can do, you can go ahead and pump, and then cock this back, load a pellet, and fire. Because it's a rocket valve, rocket ship valve is what I call it. The valve system in Crossman um, has not changed in really decades. And the current 880 and its variants hasn't also changed in decades. And it's, it's reliable, just different. And so that's how you handle that. You also, so you can do it either way. I just do it the daisy style where I cock it first and then pump it. Uh, you also, with the Crossman design, you can do this. You can pump it one time and it will, they say, protect the seals better. Um, people are asking if you could do that with the daisy. I just want to make a quick point about that. All right. Now this is a gun sock. Now that's on my main 880 and that's how you handle it for a daisy. You get a gun sock from a gun store and I have it just covering the barrel and the pump and not on the scope. So I can quickly take that off and shoot quickly. I didn't want that on the scope. So that's how you handle it for a daisy. You don't leave it pumped because it can stress out the trigger so don't do that you get a gun sock from your local store all right so go ahead and stop the video right there i'll get into the accuracy in a, a part two on this and um yeah you saw that uh what what those pellets can do a difference between a wild cutter and something designed for hunting so we'll go ahead and, and get to a part two and look at the accuracy and get more into uh, bargain pellets.